Okay, so this is my backstop and a lot of my, or viewers, not necessarily my viewers, but a lot of viewers who happen to view my videos uh, noted that there was no backstop and some complained that, you know, they could hear bottles clinking in the background, they could hear bullets hitting uh, tree limbs and all that. And that is somewhat, somewhat of the reason why I uh, shoot here because there's maybe three to four hundred yards downrange that away of fairly dense growth and of all the places on my property to shoot that is the best um, it's all my property going down there so nobody should be on there but I did have um, plans for a backstop anyway because um, this is I guess my de facto shooting range you can see down there I'm not sure exactly how far uh, it goes down there but typically I would shoot from that direction this direction and have my target set up somewhere uh, in that vicinity right there so this will allow me to uh, shoot with more confidence then I'm not going to have any downrange shots or uh, any bullets go down range and perhaps accidentally hit someone. So I'm going to take uh, all the precautions necessary uh, in order to prevent that. And unfortunately I ran out of juice on my rechargeable uh, power drill. And, the, and also the root structure down here is very thick. So I had a heck of a time trying to find a place to actually uh, dig my holes there so instead of using two fence po three fence posts I'm only going to use two that was part of the original design anyway but uh, I figured that three fence uh, three fence posts would add more stability to this uh, which it will and perhaps I'll just use the uh, third fence post as a brace I mean I'm still giving up flexibility here but the other part of the plan is to build using these one by eight. It's all treated lumber, uh, so I can get as much longevity out as possible. Was to actually uh, build a secondary wall back here and fill it with earth or sand or whatever, basically sand. And I also have some tires back here which have been here since before I actually purchased the property. So there's a ton of tires back here. And in the winter time, because it's uh, the height of the summertime, and I know that there's probably snakes and stuff in there, so I don't want to disturb any of those guys uh, and risk getting bitten or having to shoot one or anything like that. So I can always wait. I don't plan to do a heck of a lot of shooting um, this time around, uh, I'll get a couple shots in, but nothing like I had planned to. I actually had a uh, funeral to attend and take care of, so uh, there was a lot of uh, days that I really couldn't do anything back here. I had uh, priorities, and this is just a hobby, so. But in any case, I plan to, as you can see, there's a lot of sand out there, a lot of dirt on around. So just take little bits from here, here to here, and uh, you know, a little bit at a time, just fill it up. And that should actually uh, prevent anything from uh, getting downrange. Because uh, sand is a very good uh, buffer for that. Now, I don't have too much concern for the stability of this because it is pretty st stable. It's going to wobble a little bit, but it's not going to come down. And... Um, it shouldn't collapse or anything like that, but as I said, I'm, I plan to still fill it with dirt. And once you pack it down and a bullet comes through, I suspect that the dirt really won't uh, come pouring out of here because it's going to be compacted. Um, so that's the plan anyway. I'll see how that holds up. And as things erode, uh, I can just put uh, plywood, you know, just put uh, more board or plywood or something over the top of that. Um, that was the original plan actually too, was to use uh, plywood, uh, but I decided to go with the, uh, the one by 
eights. They're a little easier to handle uh, individually than uh, the big sheets of uh, half inch plywood that I had in mind. But in any case, um, it is just a backstop. I suspect that the uh, targets will be uh, placed in this, uh, mostly going to be steel targets, I guess. Uh, so I'll put them somewhere back there where they can uh, actually uh, serve as the actual thing I'm going to be shooting at. And just to, uh, I guess, add additional life or longevity to this, I'll take an existing sheet of uh, half inch plywood that I have and just put down here in the main target area. And if I do my job as far as shooting is concerned, um, it really shouldn't uh, affect it that badly. Uh, I should get a lot of use out of this. But as I said, it is just wood. I'll be able to replace boards or um, just cover over boards with uh, more boards and uh, let it go that. It is an imperfect world and it's probably an imperfect solution. But I figure that it's better than uh, just having bullets flying down range uh, if I miss the targets. And for the uh, viewer who is interested in knowing about the bottles or hearing uh, bullets ricocheting off of bottles and such, here you go. Um, these have been out here for a long time too. And I guess eventually I'll get rid of those as well. Um, there's only so many uh, hours in a day, so many days that I can be down here to do this. So uh, I, had other, I always have other priorities to take care of first. And then essentially I'll get around to this when I get a chance to. Uh, this would be good recycle. Uh, too bad they don't have deposits on them like they used to. But then again, if they had deposits on them like they used to, they wouldn't be here. All right, thanks for watching. And let me know what you uh, think about my uh, backstop and the plans that I have for it and hopefully I'll get a chance to uh, give it a test run of course it won't be a complete test run because I won't have the sand behind it uh, once I get another battery pack I will definitely uh, finish putting these boards up and perhaps get a couple uh, not not a lot of, I don't think I have the time uh, get a couple shovel shovels full of uh, earth and uh, pack down in there as I said, uh, thanks again for watching and let me know what you think about my uh, backstop. Bye-bye.